Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before you print your documents, make sure that you have the document properly set up by using the Page Setup dialog box. Once that's accomplished, you will want to check the way that your document will print without having to waste paper by actually printing several copies until it is correct. Word provides another view of your document called Print Preview to assist you in this. In Print Preview, you can see how your document will actually print on paper according to the specifications that you have set in the Page Setup dialog box. To view your currently open document in Print Preview, click the File tab in the ribbon, and then click the Print Command. In the section to the right in the Backstage view, you will see various printing options that you will have already set within the Page Setup dialog box. To the right of those options, you will see the Print Preview of your document. Note that in the far lower right corner of the Backstage view, you can click and drag the slider icon shown in the Zoom slider to increase or decrease the magnification of the Print Preview page display. You can also click the Zoom to Page button to display one full page of the document. Also note that if you are printing multiple pages, you can click the small left and right arrows that appear at the bottom of the Print Preview in order to scroll through the pages that you will print. You can click directly into the number box and type a number of the page that you would like to display in the Print Preview and press the Enter key on your keyboard in order to show it on screen. After you've previewed your document, you can then set any additional printing settings in the same area within the Backstage view. In the Print section, enter the number of copies you'd like to print into the Copies Spinner box, or simply click the small up and down arrows to enter the total number of copies to print. In the Printer section, you can use the drop-down to select the name of the printer to which you want to print the document. In the Settings section, you can use the first drop-down to select what you want to print within your document. You can select either Print All Pages, Print Selection, Print Current Page, Custom Print, or you can make a selection from the Document Info section to print the selected information about the document. If you're choosing a Custom Print, you can enter the number of pages to print into the Pages text box. Page ranges can be sequential, meaning 1-10. They could be non-sequential, for example, 1, 5, 10. Or they could be a combination, such as 1-5, 10. Page ranges can be separated by a hyphen if they are sequential, and non-sequential pages can be separated with a comma. If you hold your mouse pointer over the small icon that appears at the right end of the text box, you can see examples of how you can enter custom page range references. The last few drop-downs that are shown in this area allow you to change any settings that you could also change through the Page Setup dialog box, such as your page orientation, paper size, margins, and scaling. When you're done choosing your printing options, just click the large print button at the top of the print section to begin printing. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.